International ports are committed to providing services with higher productivity. Many machines at the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands are controlled by computer programs rather than human hands. The intelligence system brings accuracy to port operations and helps cope with the growing demand of global trade. This is a very uh, efficient uh, operation at the Euromax terminal. It's the next generation automated terminals and uh, we can have a, a container available one hour after discharge of a vessel. The port of Rotterdam is a pioneer of terminal automation. Some people call it a ghost port just because it already has some unmanned vehicles working over here. The port authorities are considering to develop some self-driving ships in an effort to shorten the unloading and loading process. Rotterdam has the largest port in Europe. It also plays a significant role in China-Europe trade. Over the past few years, the number of containers have increased and the goods in those boxes have also changed. In recent years, we have seen more high-tech commodities exported from China to Europe compared with primary products such as handicrafts. Meanwhile, European countries are no longer exporting their waste paper and plastics to China. Instead, there are more mechanical and electrical products. The Netherlands is one of the European Union's major economies. The country has progressively become more interested in Chinese investment. Chinese company Costco Shipping runs an agent company near the Rotterdam port to better serve their customers. Shipping is the main method of international trade. As our vessels get larger and shipping schedules get tighter, trade between China and Europe has become more prosperous. The trade goes two ways. Large amounts of exports from China back in the old days, but now we see imports also growing. I think that uh, Asia and Europe are, are uh, depending on each other. Uh, we need each other to, to develop further and to, uh, to bring uh, more uh, economic welfare for everybody. The deputy managing director says Europe needs resources and trading partners, and China needs market. And both sides can benefit tremendously from international trade. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, in Rotterdam, Netherlands.